Hey, today we're gonna talk about squat grip. So there's a lot of confusion about how to grip the bar on a basic barbell squat. We wanna talk about that today. So here's the key. In all of the other lifts that aren't the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the press, the hands are holding on to the bar. Like they're the prime thing that connects us to the bar. But on a squat, that's not the case. In a squat, the bar is really sitting on our back and the hands are just there to keep the bar from rolling down the back. So we have to figure out how to put our hands in the right position for a right relationship with the barbell and the body so the back bears the load of the barbell and the weight and not the hands, wrists, and elbows because when we do this wrong, we end up, squats often will cause tendonitis around the elbow and specifically the medial epicondyle. And we wanna to try to protect this as much as we can. When this becomes a problem, it's hard to get rid of and a correct squat grip most of the time will allow us to avoid that issue. So one of the things that I wanna do on a squat grip is I wanna to try to get my grip as close as I can because I want relatively vertical forearms. Now, the bigger you are, if you're like me, my grip is still pretty wide. Skinnier people, narrow people might have their, I mean, really will be able to put their hands right on top of their shoulders. But for everybody, it should be a very, very tight, it's gonna be very tight at the pec delt tie-in. And in order to do that, we have a, a good friend, starting strength coach, Paul Horn has invented what we call the Paul Horn stretch. You can check out that video but I'm gonna give you a quick taste of it right now. So as you're trying to open up your shoulders to prepare for the squat, you can do a stretch that looks like this. Patrick, you're gonna take a grip with thumbs on top of the bar, and we'll get there here in a second. And he's gonna to try to drive himself un underneath and just stretch and then come back out and take a deep breath, come in a little bit and breathe out. And come back out again and narrow your grip a little more and same thing, and you can just kind of rock back and forth, and the stretch is gonna be here on the front of the delt. Because our hands aren't holding the bar on the squat, I actually don't need to wrap my thumb around the bar on a squat like I would on all the other lifts. Instead, I wanna use compression between the, the bones of the wrist and the bones of the forearm into the elbow to hold the bar in place, which means the bar needs to push on the bottom pad of my of my hand to create the compression necessary to hold the bar in place on my back but the weight of the bar primarily is going to sit on your back not in your hands conversely if we wrap our thumbs around the bar and we get over extension of the wrist we can, it can lead to wrist problems it can lead to tendonitis in the forearm or of the elbow or if our grip is too wide and i have a big angle here I end up with too much moment on the forearm and not enough compression. Therefore, it's not the compression that's holding the bar in place. I have to end up taking this wide grip and I'm gonna have to hold the bar in place with shoulder extension, which can also cause problems. And in the end, on a, on a squat, if I'm gonna shoulder extend, eventually I'm gonna round my thoracic, I'm gonna dump that bar forward, it's gonna roll up my back. I want the bar to stay in place just below the spine of the scapula. So that's what we're gonna do. So I want you to take a grip that's as close as you can comfortably take. The wider it is, there's too much moment. The more narrow we get, the more compression we get, the more vertical forearms we have. So take a grip as close as you can, stretch into it a little bit. We're gonna put the bar just below the spine of the scapula here, so that's nice, it's below the top of the traps. Notice that he really, can you lift your elbows up at all? A little bit, so leave your hands right where they are, come back out, narrow your grip one inch, and let's do it again. If he can give me some extra shoulder extension, then that grip probably isn't close enough. Now this is a lot tighter. You can see the nice big shelf of muscle on his back, just below the spine of the scapula. When you're ready, stand up with the bar, walk back, deep breath, and give me a couple reps. Good, keep that chin down. One more, nice and slow, and up fast. Good, walk it in, touch the uprights, and down, good. So a common error that we'll see with lifters is they'll actually swing the pendulum too far the other way. So most know that overextension is bad, but now we're starting to see people over flex their wrists, and that would look like this. That's gonna go underneath. Notice now he's, his hand is on top of the bar, which means that there can't be any compression of the forearm, therefore I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do here. Instead, he's gonna get down 
here, bar in hand, neutral wrist, and now the bar is against the pad of the lower hand, and he can actually have some compression here across the forearm. So just as much as extension is bad, that flexion is bad as well. Now, what's the problem with overextension? Well, overextension creates a problem because it causes torsion or twisting here in the forearm. The hand is loaded strange, the forearm twists, and we end up with problems often in the elbow and usually in that medial epicondyle when we grip the bar this way. This is a very common grip for, for power lifters, or they'll often wrap their thumbs around the bar here. So same position, just like this. And now I don't have a lot of compression here. Rather, it's the moment force of the overextension in the wrist that's holding the bar in place. And of course that can cause problems in the wrist just as much as it can cause problems in the elbow. If all else fails and you've got pain in your elbow from your squat grip, the primary thing we wanna focus on is to make sure that the weight lies across the back and not in the hands. We wanna feel the weight of the bar on our back and not in our hands, not on the, not at the base of the palm, not back in the fingers. As and the more weight the hand bears, the better chance we have of having some sort of problems in the wrist, forearm, or elbow. So the key, occasionally, my way that I just taught you will also cause some elbow problems. It's rare, and that's why some people will wrap their thumbs or take a different grip in order to get all that weight on their back. If the back bears the load of the weight and the hands don't, it's gonna protect the hands, wrist, forearms, and elbows from future potential injury, which is often like a, just a tendonitis, right? So that's what we're trying to avoid in the squat. When you get that tendonitis, it's hard to get rid of. So as soon as you start to feel that coming on, you've gotta make sure you feel the load of the bar across your back and not in your hands. For more how-to tips on the squat, click the playlist right up there.